remember where I left off, so I've been kind of playing this game. Um, I played episode three right when it came out, and then uh, kind of had a light summer as far as streaming went and game playing for me, so kind of getting back in the swing of things. And Obviously, since then, four and five have come out. The game's concluded. Um, and with those long gaps in between episodes, I've just been trying to basically react as Big B as naturally as I can, but also, like, I don't want him to seem like a monster, but he's also not going to seem like a pushover. So, try and do the right thing. Um, and things went kind of sideways, if I remember right, at the end of, end of three. So, um, I may have gotten a little too aggressive, if I remember right. So, if I remember, uh, they do do uh, episode recaps, so you'll get caught up with me. In sheep's clothing. I'm going to even forget all the characters. That was Bluebeard of Hay. Remember, right? If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's you missing really a glamour piece. on a farm. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And oh, thanks beauty. for covering for me last time too. Very angry at beauty. Bigby? How could you because do this to me? In the middle of I this domestic situation. I finally situation. see you for who you are. Tell me who did it. Just tell me who did it. I know you know. I don't think he did it. What? Me Look neither. at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? No, he's just creepy. Oh. This right. Yeah. I went. I was say ape shit, but one tweedle down. It was a good show, but you know, just take. I forget who that okay. is. If it's Red Riding Hood or um, no, Bloody Mary. Well, that's a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. The Red Queen? I haven't been in my apartment for a while. Apparently I healed quick. See you around. Okay, it's one sequence. Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. Okay, I didn't heal up as quickly as I thought it did. Impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. That's the if question, I don't Doc. distract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. <laughs> Pippi. That can't keep me this way. That oh hurts. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Just stay still and let me finish. My arm. <laughs> yes, very ugly, but not life-threatening. <laughs> I can't say the same for these bullets peppered throughout your vital organs. <laughs> Please, Please, having a rough day. don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Yeah, let's... Uh... Oh, it's like, what do I do? <laughs> That's... Lovely. <laughs> the pig doesn't like it. Right again. <laughs> the quick time event to set a fucking bone. Yeah. Oh. Oh. 
That made my eyes go yellow too. Good job, Bigby. Oh, come on, Snow. You're not impressed? Not bad. How mainly was That'll that? Do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. <laughs> it's not like I asked for this shit to happen. Yes, but it's not like you actively discouraged it either. <laughs> Come on, tell it some sympathy Excuse here, Snow. Way, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. That's a bad Believe pun. Me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... if you wouldn't mind... Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please. I could do this with my optic nerves severed. Are you a, we'll a be robot? A what the hell, are, what the hell is this guy? Give us the time. I let her know that I need her, though. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Colin, shut the <laughs> hell up, will you? Yes, that would be helpful. Nobody likes a pig. <sighs> there. All done. Great. Oh, this is the habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. I'll, I'll tell him to not shoot me with silver next time. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty. If he can figure out what that means. <laughs> he knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. It's all your fault, Snow. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. Does the I robot will. doctor care about me? He'll need rest, I assume. Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swineheart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. <laughs> so what is he? Actually. No, well, it took me almost dying for her to finally have sympathy for me. So, how do you, um feel sober it's big b snow he'll be okay hell i seen him take worse don't worry about me all right i'll be fine see strong as an oak this guy you had us <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while you uh you stopped breathing you know when you passed out or or died, I guess. It's gonna be okay, Snow. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... You were really worried about me? Yeah, you were really God fucked up, it, man. Colin, come on. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him, is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. 
I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... Yeah, uh... Thanks, so I been, Snow. I haven't really been for going for Snow. Back there. Other than just trying no to make problem. sure she doesn't, she doesn't think that he's a complete asshole. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the crook? as the boss. But. Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. But it's not like we had a strong choice in the matter. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Colin, I don't give a shit about just you. Just <laughs> what does the crooked man want out of this? You've been gone for two episodes. I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be I think be he's working with the elusive right? man. Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Crane was a puppet. And the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet. I, yeah. I know it does. <laughs> we have no idea what's Somehow. going on. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things a bad cop. the right way. What does that mean, the right way? No one what cares, do you Cole. think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. Easy. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. Ah. By the book. Straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. <laughs> this town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. I'm a freaking wolf monsters. lady. Monsters. The fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. Because he tried to kill me. You can't let up until the fight is finished. He was... he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. I sure. stand by that. Come Look, on! Baby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. <sighs> so for that, you want to give him a hand? already turned on her. Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. <laughs> but this is the wrong right, fucking no, time God. to put shackles on it. I've been Relax, through a lot here in this last three I'll minutes. Speak to myself, okay? I'm all over the place. He'll get the job done. Just My let him do it. Bigby I'm will continue. To... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. <laughs> and this situation has to end. What situation? The bacon All situation. All unglamoured fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. <laughs> Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. If Snow says that's the way it's gotta be, that's the way it's gotta be. What? Are you kidding me? If you would simply get a glamour. Get a glamour? With what money? You think I can work? I don't even have thumbs. Tell on your problem. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, <laughs> what is it? Oh, Buffkin. Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Buffkin? Narissa. Narissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. She's what not going to tell the monkey. That could be? That's for uh, sure. Bigby's got an admirer. 
You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. Something about your prickly demeanor attracts him like a moth to a flame. She probably just wants to talk about last night. The whole thing at the pudding and pie. Maybe. I should get back to the business office. Stand I've by. left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. <laughs> See, Colin. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider yeah, the good. discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow come around, she's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I'll just be two-faced to everybody. It's fine. <laughs> I don't... I mean, am I supposed to... I've had two scenes with Cullen. Am I really supposed to care about him? He's... He's kind of a dick, too, so... I was... <laughs> Why are we so nervous to, about going into my own office? Town's gone pink again. So like I said, I took a pretty big break between three and four. Breaks were long to begin with in this game. I'm curious how it plays if you just marathon through all five or at least play them, you know, within a month. Something like that. So it, it usually takes me like a third of an episode to get back in the swing of things. So. Hi, Sheriff. Remember who's who. <laughs> Hi, Narissa. Look stone out of my mind. Have a seat. She's really happy to see me. Why are you so happy to see me? <laughs> I. I'm um, cold because I forgot to wear. Are a, you okay? Anything? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> oh. Yeah, that'll fix it. Huff and puffs. I don't mess with my brand. Those. Oh, my bad. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Thanks for the riddles. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? I'm not you that smart. You can try. I just... I don't know. Go ahead. It... might work. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. I'm just angry about that if question. I could answer you just like that. I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Are they listening in? What the? F what? Sometimes. Kind of get it when she, we were talking at we her. to find our way through life she works. on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone. 
and I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? No. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... Our friends are dead. Got I it. I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I so want snow's in to trouble. help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. It's been a really productive conversation. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. What the hell did you I come down knew here? How to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? <laughs> hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. It's a hold her head That's on. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? I was, gonna, I, was, I was saying, like, Big Millie has two friends, and I don't give a shit about Colin. It's going out going after the frogs. It's with the fucking ribbon. That spell Crane talked about. Is there any way to break it? Is there something I can do? Don't about snap. It? No! The lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> don't touch her. Ribbon. Please. Don't. <sighs> okay. A little antsy, huh? I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, they're not on anymore. they're going with this stuff if anyone finds out i came here just tell them you left a little ribbon on snow or call him sheriff or the ribbon police can you keep this conversation between us it's between you me and the ribbon i could be in a lot of trouble i shouldn't be talking to you i'm gonna have to tell snow she has to know about the ribbons if you have to just don't tell anyone else getting fresh with my uh, reset bone. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just oh, now. Oh, God. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Go. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Um, wait, you don't have to go. <laughs> she looks so sad. That was... Uh, abrupt. It's one way to send a message. It's... What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. Hopefully I can trust Snow, because I'm kind of leading on that. About. It's in the ribbon. And you can't take Unless, the ribbon off. Or... Well, the reason I won't tell her is I'm going to protect her. Died. Okay, then. Good work. Deadly ribbons. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're scared about what's been going on. That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. Don't listen to Beauty. She's she was looking just trouble. for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and 
And she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? <gasps> What's it? I have wide other elevator. matters to attend to. What? Wait, what? Why are we separating? That was weird. <laughs> 